everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing Create This Book Episode 1. <music> to Art Bobble because she was my 50th subscriber. Thank you so, so much. Make sure to go check out her channel. I will link it in the description box down below. If you're new to my channel or you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, please go check out my Instagram. I will link it in the description box down below and my Instagram name will pop up right here. One last thing before we get started, make sure to go check out my new channel. It is with a friend. It's called BFF Squad, and I will link it in the description box down below. We just uploaded our very first video yesterday. So these are the things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be customizing the front cover. I'm going to add color and or text to the spine and edges of the book. I'm going to make the title and copyright page more interesting and add a personal touch to this page. So these are the things that I'm going to be doing in episode one. So this is the acrylic paint I'm going to be using. I got this for Christmas and my grandma gave it to me. So thank you so much to my grandma if you are watching this for this really fun present. I'm excited to try it out. I will be back to you once I have finished setting everything up. I have just finished setting up everything and I have been thinking about the cover, an idea for the cover for literally about 30 minutes. And um, I finally have an idea, but I'm not gonna tell you it, but I will tell you the theme. So the theme is going to be pastel colors. So now without further ado, let's get painting the cover. happy on how it turned out I really 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 like it and um so if you mess up and you're like me a good thing to use are these fine liner pins because the black line if you mess up it's kind of noticeable so I just went around the black line and I used this and it works so well you can get them on Amazon so yeah so now I'm going to continue painting I finish cleaning up and then I will do the final reveal so I finished cleaning up everything but really all I needed to do is replace the water clean the paint palette because I'm still gonna paint some more so I'm going to show you the book in three two one here is my final create this book cover I really 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 like it and I was going to add little hearts, but I wasn't sure if that would make it look too much. And I wasn't sure if those would look messy. So I just left it like this. So um, I have just like I told you, I finished the top. And it said customize the front cover, so I filled in that star. And then it says add color and or text to the spine and edges of the book. So I actually already did the spine. And I did it with a um, marker. 
and it looks really good. And now I'm going to do the edges of the book and I will fast forward that. I'm going to show you the spine and the pages and three, two, one. So here is the spine. I did it with a marker and I really like it. And then here are the pages. I did them a light purple. And that is supposed to be a close color to that. And I think I did a pretty good job with not getting it on the actual page. So yeah. So if you're wondering, these are the type of markers I'm using. It is a huge stack of these markers. And there is one thick end, and then one kind of skinnier end. And there are so many colors, and these are great for Create This Book. And I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. So I have made sure it is all dry. And now I'm going to work on the back. just finished the back and I'm sorry I wasn't able to fast forward rest of it I just thought it would be easier not to fast forward because of all the detail but I added little hearts and then little drips from the paint brushes and I really really like it I definitely didn't do as much as I did on the front but I do still really like it so I wanted to tell you guys two things so number one um, I'm going to put a thing of packing tape on the front and the side and the back and actually these pens smear I they smeared right here and so I had to add a thick coat of white paint but somehow this one got dried out so I was able to scrape away the paint where I got it in the wrong places so I'm going to fast forward adding the packing tape and my mom is going to help me with that because I'm kind of scared to do it. So yeah. So my mom just finished adding the packing tape and it looks really good. Thank you so much to my mom if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are. All right, so let's see what I've done and what I need to do. So I just added color and or text to the spine and the edges of the book. So I'm going to go ahead and color in that star. And um, before I do that, I need to add my name right here. So I added my name right there. And now I need to make the title and copyright page more interesting, which is this page and this page. I'm going to be done with painting today, so I'm going to use colored pencils for now. So I'm going to cl clean up everything for a painting, and I will be back to you once I have the pa painting cleaned up and the colored pencils all ready to go. So I have just finished setting everything up. So I have just finished setting everything up. So it says make the title and copyright page more interesting. So that is this page and this page. So since this page comes first, I'm going to start with this one.
just finished it, and I really, really like it. My original idea did not come out. I was going to do little corners of colorfulness, and I was going to add really cute detail, but that sadly did not work out for me, but I do like what I created. So I added a little heart next to my name. I did a pink outline around Create This Book, and behind it I did the rainbow. So as you know, this is my finished page, and it's... I forgot to do the copyright page, so I need to do that now. just finished this page and now all I have to do is add a personal touch to this page. So that is all I'm going to do. It is quite simple but I like it. So now I'm just going to fill in the last star. I'm going to show you what I did. So I did the front, and I really, really like it. I think the front is my favorite part. I did the pages. I did the back. And the spine. I really like the spine, actually, as well. So inside, I just outlined Create This Book, and then did a rainbow across the back. On this page, I drew a panda and then I um, cut it out and then I actually put packing tape over it. And then I just drew a little bow. And I'm gonna add a couple little details to that. And then this page, I just added some hearts and some things with the words. This page, I did not do anything. And this was the last page I did. And I just made it cute. So I did, colored that in rainbow-ish. I um, colored in the stars, I drew some stars myself, and then I added a little, I don't really know what it's called, but it's super cute, and I really like everything that I did. This is now the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so, so much for watching, and thank you all for 50 subscribers. Bye!